today is still December 18th, second video log for today. And I was talking about my uh, movies that we've been watching recently, and they're pretty good. There's there's some good ones. I don't know, we've seen, we've seen a lot of LBs, and then we've seen, you know, he kind of mixes it up a little bit, which is good. And actually, he just picks his movies, and, you know, we go with it. Sometimes you get some severe LB, and then we get some good ones, and then we get some LBs, and then we get some really good ones, and then we get a bunch of LBs, and we find another good one. And then the last night was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't spectacular. This wasn't like uh, something that's been created with a lot of money, you know? Like there's there's some uh, big box office hits that make, create a, that make a lot of money, and they're spectacular. Uh, even though that... Uh, a lot of these movies that are, you know, some are like very low, low LB, like low budget, that they'll still get like four stars, and then some low budgets will get still four stars, and then, um, then good ones will, you know, get four and a half stars, and then really good ones get four and a half stars, and then there's ones that are they really, really good, and they get the they get the five stars. But, uh, the rating all uh, it depends on you know different sites where it's at, and you know people. A word of mouth and how good it is here and there but that doesn't you know that doesn't really say that too much about it being um, you know some of the other ones some of the even better ones that you know they get there's a lot of you know action a lot of, a lot of good uh, blood and CGI and all kinds of good stuff like that like how does these other videos rate compared to that have you put up you know a normal good movie to a um, box, big box office hit that will be considered a very severe low budget compared to that. So that five, or no, actually the four, the no, the low budget one, regular low budget or normal normal movie, low budget or something like that. Um, say it's a four. That'd be a four out of ten if it was, you know, the big um, box office hit. So, people's ratings, you know, vary, and, you know, there's sometimes, you know, you can get, you know, out of rating of 10, some places are out of rating of 5. And what other, other thing comes to mind, too, is that when I used to work at the furniture store, this was years and years and years ago when I worked at the furniture store, uh, a good friend, you know, he's still a good friend, you know, I end up leaving because it uh, wasn't, you know, keen on the, the, the payment and stuff like that, but he knew that I did a lot of work with him, that I I did a job with like four different people, I was, you know, I was mostly on time, sometimes a tad late, but you know, mostly on time, but um, what I'm getting at is that he always got like a lot of furniture, some furniture like was really good, like that cherry wood, um, Dining room set that was good. That that was good. But um, some of the furniture that he used to get, they would say, "Oh, uh, the, these these um, hotel motel places want to get some new furniture to go from three star to four star." And then next year, you know, well, actually, no, they're I, I had, like six months after. Oh, I want to go from four star to five star. But then, you know, the other places you go to is like, okay, we're going to upgrade, you know, it's going to be better, but how can you go from anything higher than five star? And they're just, you no, know, they're still calling a five star, even though it's not really a five star. And most of this crap still is like two or three stars. But then, you know, uh, there's like a lot of different things I did, you know, furniture repair. I was fixing TVs. I got a good knack at fixing TVs. It was, you know, something very simple. I never told, showed him the trick, though. Because that's what, you know, kind of brought me my money, kind of thing. Besides, you know, being there on time and telling people about the furniture, the prices. You know, I usually, like, leave it up to him for certain things or leave it up to his wife. But sometimes he's on the computer to do something or she's doing something or... You know, he's gone to get lunch or something like that, and I have to, you know, help out to tell people of what uh, needs, needs to be, you know, what, what needs to be talked about, you know, what the price is, if there's any kind of problems. And, you know, normally we don't tell about the problems. I mean, 
we got this this furniture from one place, and they'll be like, oh, you got it for this place, well, why are you selling it for that much? I mean, my friend's price is, no, well, he's kind of, he was the boss, but not really like the boss boss kind of thing, but he was the boss, and, um, a lot of the furniture we get, you know, is between, uh, like 5 to 15% of the original cost. Maybe 20 kind of pushing it, of original cost. And he would make some good money on the special dining room set, some of the office stuff. Mattress and box springs would go quick. Pictures would go here, here uh, good too. Um, some kind of uh, little coupon app thing that came up. But uh, even some we were helping the movie uh, start helping people move furniture too, or you know people you know, that donate some furniture, you know, throw it out there and put a little small price tag on it. There's even some things that I, I decided to you know keep for myself, and I made the sales on a few things. But uh, what really got me is that you know when he gets the the, the furniture stuff, he's got to pay taxes. Then when he sells stuff. He's got to pay taxes, and then he's got to sum up everything and pay more taxes on that. And that that's it was really crappy. But I had a lot of fun. I mean, I would have probably would be working there probably another year or two, maybe three years more, if they would have gave me you know the little bit of raise that was normal, like a normal raise. Like the the first year, I got the twenty five cent raise. I was just expecting the next year maybe another 25 cent raise. He knows that I did a lot of work with him. I was fit. I was uh, I was I was skinny. Well, not too skinny, but you know I did the did the job. I, there's sometimes I had to take a nap because um, I, I was with a, a girlfriend, a bad girlfriend. I'd be working most of the day, and then she'd be bugging me at night time to stay up because she would sleep all day and she would be up all night, and that you know it bugged me. And then sometimes I would you know I'd take a break. There's nothing I could do. I mean, I'm sitting there and I'm walking around like a zombie. And I'll sit in a chair and I'll fall asleep in a chair while it's you know it's going to be so outside. Now I'll sit in the chair to make sure the furniture is good. No, somebody takes any furniture or anybody asks any questions and stuff like that. But I would be falling asleep and I was like, can't do that. So then there's like a little small uh, storage room and you know, I'm hiding in the storage room and he can't see me and stuff. And there's sometimes I, there was a place I would lay down on top of. Um, curtains and if there's enough curtains on these tables that nobody would notice that I'm sitting there I was laying down in there unless they're moving some of those curtains like look through a lot of curtains on that table so then it came to a point where I was you no know, I would I would I was breaking up with this woman and stuff and <clears throat> actually yeah I'm breaking up with her and then I stayed with a best friend and you know helped her out with a little bit of money you know for rent and all that stuff I was, you know, liking this one girl. She's a little younger than me. I guess she was, um, um, she was a little slow. She wasn't, you know, she wasn't disabled. She wasn't, um, mentally challenged. She was a little, a little slow on things, but, you know, she's young and she's quiet, and, you know, maybe that's just, you know, the way her nature is, but one, two, you know, talk to her, you know, hang out with her and stuff like that. And the boss didn't like it, you know. The boss didn't like it. It's like, oh, no, 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 blah, 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 blah. It's like, I said, why don't she decide that instead of you trying to decide for her? And that kind of really pissed me off at that time, you know. Basically, you know, basically like a cock blocker, but I wasn't looking to, you know, you know, for anything like that. I didn't really care. And... She was she was good looking. She was a brunette. I, I she was Christian or something like that, and you know I was interested in getting to know her as at least but as a friend. You know if I didn't really have a chance, then at least as a friend. But he would get me to do other things other than you know working with her or working around her and stuff, and I had to go and, and do other things, and it kind of ticked me off. So. 
I would, most of the time I would be there on time and I would spend a lot of my time there because I wanted to get away from that girlfriend and I eventually did and there was nothing really going on in my life that was spectacular so I was even there early sometimes and I would even stay past the time of you know just uh, you know you know just helping out and hanging out kind of thing even though you know he's the, he's the boss he'd be there you know 16 hours sometimes and you know I should be only there 8 or 18 hours but sometimes you know I'm there you know 16 hours just helping out giving a hand a lot, of time, a lot of times I would be giving a hand and we moved a lot of furniture off that one truck there was supposed to be like four to help they didn't show up so it was him and I we were unloading the truck for 36 hours straight by the time we got everything off that truck, we were working on adrenaline. You know, we had something to drink or something to eat, and we were back on that truck again, moving stuff up, moving stuff up, and, you know, at that time, you know, my back was, you know, pretty bad. But then, you know, using the back brace and, and you know, uh, moving furniture, heavy furniture, heavy furniture, heavy furniture, you know, kind of strength of the back, and then I wasn't using the back brace. And then after that job, my back was like, like three or four times worse. It's like four or five times worse right now because now because I'm older now too. I, I would believe that's how it goes. But like I said, really really ticked me off. So like I couldn't really you know, get to know this person and stuff. And then I saw her at other places, but she was and then then started getting involved with somebody else, and I just let it be. And what you know what what really um, pushed me over the edge is the ten cent raise instead of twenty five cents. He knows that I worked with him. I did a lot of things and like. You no, know, I plead with him and stay, you know, change mind and stuff like that. And then, you know, I got my last pay and I said I need to take a, a, a week off break. Um, I got to go and visit my dad or something. It wasn't really true. It was, it was basically a nice way of saying, saying to him that I quit. I'm gone. I'm gone. Sorry. So after I did leave, he hired, like, he tried hiring different people and it wouldn't fall through. Some people... You know, couldn't do the job, couldn't do the job, couldn't do the job, couldn't do the job. Or, you know, just show up drunk or stoned or uh, get in the fights or um, expected to have um, payments in advance and stuff like that. He went to about, like, like, I would say four to eight different people. And I was doing the job of four, four different people. I was always there. I was doing things. You know, moving the furniture in, moving the furniture out, displaying the furniture, you know maybe throwing some prices on them, uh, talking to the uh, the customers, uh, directing different people in this and there. Being that friend, hanging with him, oh yeah, he's got, he had some cool uh, couple dogs. I knew his, his dad, uh, well his dad was part of my family off and on throughout the years. And it was, um, it was a good time. I wish that, you know, I was still there, you know. But I, I don't know, I probably wouldn't be a long time th term thing, but his, he's not there anymore. So anyway, I am at the end of this video. I might as well wrap this up. So if you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. And share this video and channel my benefit, my benefit me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for being the time you guys watching. We all have nice days, good night. And remember, it's better to be average than original.